Hey, it's Holly from superholly.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a super unique state-of-the-art cloud lamp. Cheers. What is on my cup? So you may have seen a few of these on the internet. It all started with a designer named Richard Clarkson. Well, it all started with God. But anyway, he does a lot of light fixtures, he plays around with furniture and kind of installation sort of art. And it has trickled its way down into different tutorials, pictures on Pinterest, and the like. So something I noticed is that most of these tutorials don't talk about the nitty gritty details. They make it look so easy and so fun, and when you're in the middle of this, believe me, it gets messy. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm here to walk you through, holding your hand every step of the way. So let's get started with some of the more obvious supplies. Paper lanterns some sort of cotton or stuffing to cover them up to make them look more cloud-like, and LED lights. To hold everything together, you're gonna need a hot glue gun, fishing line, something strong and see-through, and some screw and hooks. Also, something that might not be on the top of your mind is a very long extension cord, and baby, you're gonna need time. A whole lot of it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get inspired. Look at different clouds, see what clouds really speak to you. Do you like Stratus, Cumulonimbus, or maybe Stratocumulus or Nimbostratus? Those seem to be the easiest to recreate in my opinion. Once you decide how you want your cloud to look, set out to find the lanterns that will help you achieve that formation. Lanterns come in all sorts of different shapes, textures, and colors. Keep in mind the lights are going to be providing the color in your lantern, so you just as well use white. But if you'd like to have like a multicolored scenario going on at the same time, then consider going with lanterns that have complementary colors so that you can mimic a sunset. So beautiful! For the LED lights, these are definitely the best I've found. I went on the internet and found some called Lumen Play and they seemed super awesome, but when they arrived, they were just a little too heavy. We don't want anything to bog our clouds down. They have to hang from the roof on fishing line, remember that. So yeah, Ultralast found these at like a random lighting store here in Houston. And this is what they look like. They come in this tiny little roll and it's actually um, sticky on the back. It has an adhesive. I will plug it in so you guys can get the full effect. Ooh, yay! So as you can see, these are nice and bright. They're light. You can adjust the brightness. You can adjust the color. I mean, these are snazzy, man. So yes, highly recommended. This is what we used on our cloud. And I ended up returning the lights to Lumen Play and they were super cool about it, so kudos to them for great customer service. You know what, I'm gonna keep these in the background. As far as the puffiness on the clouds, I would recommend you go with bedding, this classic fiber fill I found at Michael's. The good thing about bedding is that it's not in little balls, so you don't have to like tear them apart. You already have this sort of sheet-like texture that you can spread across the lanterns, like so. A few things about the process. It's going to get messy. But you'll definitely notice if you do a multiple cloud formation or multiple lanterns, you're gonna get better and better as time goes along. I figured out after a while that instead of squeezing the little trigger on the glue gun, you just push the glue stick from the back and it comes out a lot quicker and it just flows. You get your stuff done in record time. Once you get each and every one of your lanterns covered with cotton, here comes the fun part. Actually, the whole thing's fun. What am I talking about? It's time to put it all together. Something really important here. Choose a corner of the room that has something that will facilitate hiding the extension cord. If you live in one of those industrial type warehouses, then you're golden. You can just sort of run it along the roof and it'll look cool like it's part of the atmosphere. In our case, we decided to put the clouds in a corner right next to a huge floor mirror that we have. Once you select your designated area, it is time to start hanging the individual little lanterns by their own individual little hooks. This is how we chose to do it. You can come up with your own system and that's great. We toyed around with the idea of having them all on a stick so it would be easier to move, but honestly, the stick just looked ugly. So start hanging the little balls one by one. Definitely make sure you have somebody else to help you as a reference point. Wherever they look good, screw in your hook, Decide on the length of your fishing line and tie your knots very well. Now here's something that most people don't talk about. How are you supposed to get the lights to go through all the lanterns so that it's one solid unit? We struggled with that as well. And what we came up with was <laughs> pretty gorilla. You basically have to make holes in between each of the lanterns 
just as crazy as it sounds. You can use scissors, you can stab it with a knitting needle. Whatever you gotta do to get those lights from one lantern to the next. Yeah, it was pretty bizarre. Also, once you figure out exactly where you want your cord to dangle, we have a little tip for you. Put an additional hook in the wall to hang that clunky square that's supposed to attach to the outlet so that that can carry the weight and it's not putting any stress on the cloud. Once you get all the lights and wires in place and the sun goes down, this is your final result. Oh, it's so relaxing, so fun to come home to. That's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If any of you recreate this, I'd love to see it. So please connect with me, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you like to use. And remember, the internet is cool, but you know what's cooler? Living your life in 3D. <laughs> see you in the next tutorial.